Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, I'm so glad to have you join me today. My disclaimer for today is this is not a tutorial. I'm telling you, I have the most amazing friends. I hope that you guys have crafty friends near you, and if not, well, you can join our circle anytime you're near us. My crafty friend Hillary had this whole box, and she even recently got some new ones, hadn't even taken them out of the package, and papers and said I should do a test between the two different papers. So that's what I'm going to do today. You can watch it. If you're a pro, you'll laugh. If you've never seen alcohol inks before, then I'll introduce those a little. Alcohol inks are permanent, so you'll notice I'm wearing my fancy shirt today, and I have black pants on, and there's nothing permeable here. I'm working on my glass mat. If I get these inks on my countertop, they will be there forever. I should be wearing gloves, but I pretty much never wear gloves, but I don't have to go to work for days, so I should be fine. In this box, I have the alcohol inks and then the newer pearls. So Tim Holtz came out with, at Creativation this year, he came out with the pearl, alcohol pearl. Those have nice uh, glistening effect, sparkling, right? We all want sparkly, shiny pearl. You have to shake them even more so. Some people recommend you keep them on their side so that they don't go down to the bottom as far and it's easier to shake them back up, but I think this box is too cool. This box is, I think she said it's essential oils made by Terramore. So if you have a friend who sells essential oils, ask them if you can have their box because alcohol inks fit, the liquid pearls fit, the enamel accents, pretty much any product made by Ranger, stickles, glossy accents, they would all work in here. She also has blending solution and the little pads. I've only played with alcohol inks, mm, I think once, maybe once. I can't remember if I showed you guys the project or the product at all. The pearls, hear that? They have the shaker in them. The other ones don't, so they're not as annoying for you to listen to, but the pearls, you might get a little annoyed. Alcohol inks, you want paper that will move on. Now remember, I'm not an expert, I'm just telling you what I know. So it's very common, Ranger sells Yupo paper, Y-U-P-O, it's synthetic. It's 100% polypropylene. They sell it in small packs, pretty much like maybe this size, card size. It can be very expensive, you guys. So if you wanna get into alcohol inks, one thing that you can do is at craft stores, they sell Yupo paper. It's not in the paper crafter section usually. I saw it at Hobby Lobby in like the fine arts, maybe by where they keep watercolor paper or something like that. And it was down on the very bottom shelf, but then you could use a 40% off coupon on it. So I have Yupo paper here. And like I said, you can also buy it from Ranger. I don't know if Ranger sells it in full sheets or just in small packages chopped up. The other thing that I had never heard of until this week is it's called Terra Slate. And what I will tell you is this stuff is heavy. This is, I mean, we're not dealing with paper made out of trees here. It comes in different kinds. So when my friend bought it, she realized later, this one is called Airbrush Art Paper Waterproof. Airbrush Art Paper 7 milliliter Waterproof. There's also one, maybe they just made it for better marketing, that's called alcohol ink paper. So maybe this isn't the best comparison between Terra Slate and Yupo, but we're going to do it anyway. And maybe down the road when she's done a lot of alcohol ink work and used this up, we'll see the other one. But for now, I'm sure this is fine. These are super hard to explain. They're, they don't feel like shiny cardstock, but they're very, very smooth. One thing that I noticed right away is, can you tell? The Yupo seems whiter to me. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think you would notice. And since we're gonna coat it in ink, I don't think that matters at all. But let's get started. Let's move these away. So I'm going to take these little notes that she, see, I'm telling you, you guys, I have the most awesome friends. I'm gonna put it right here so you can see it. There we go. And I will keep this, those papers on the same side the whole time so that you know. On the right side, we're gonna have Yupo. And what I was thinking was we do two samples of each. Ooh, they just, they feel so strange. They're, 
much, much thinner than a four by six photograph, but almost as slick. But our four by six photographs, at least in the US, when you go pick up your prints, does anybody do that anymore? I do it sometimes, you guys, because I'm a scrapbooker. But anyway, um, much thinner than that. The Yupo does feel thicker, and maybe the actual uh, alcohol ink version of the Terra Slate would be different. I'm gonna move. Alcohol inks, you can do all sorts of techniques. I mean, let's think about this. The other thing, oh, you guys, I wanna preface this right now. When I show you cool new products, this is another example. You know how I try and warn you? Like, we did some embossing one day, and I said, okay, you'll be $50 into this before you know what hit you. I think alcohol inks are the same because a package of these, I'll tell you how much they retail for. Three inks at Hobby Lobby in this package, $11.99. Now you can buy them in big sets, you can use coupons, there are options, but that gives you an idea, right? So just six colors, and I'm not sure if the pearls are more. Oh my gosh, so the pearls are $13.99. It would be 11 for six colors. What I have represented here, okay, is 12 and 14, $26 worth of inks. And you would still need paper. I could test this on other paper, but I, I don't know that it adds value. The thing you need to have fun with alcohol inks is you need the paper to have a slick surface so that the ink will move around. Does that make sense? So here's what I'm thinking. We'll set these inks over here. First, we'll do a Yupo and a Terra Slate. Then we'll do a Yupo and a Terra Slate. Hang on, let me look. I was thinking that it would be here. Let's swap out Dandelion for the Alcohol Pearl. So we'll have, this one will be all pearls, and then this set will be two regulars and one pearl. I'm guessing that to really have the most fun with them, you wanna mix them up a little, right? If everything sparkles, then nothing really stands out. But what I'm trying to do is do them in spring colors. And again, just like many techniques, what you do with these is you can make backgrounds. You can also, you could decorate the paper and then you could use it to die cut. Pretty much anything that you make backgrounds with, right? Uh, distress oxide sprays, distress oxide ink pads, watercolors, anything. So you don't have to run out and buy alcohol inks. But if you love them and they make you happy, well then, there's your answer. When you're working with your alcohol inks, there's all sorts of ways you can do it. The, I, I don't know if there are rules. If there are, we won't be learning any of them today. So I'm gonna put ink on the paper. Oh my gosh, I can see it sparkling. I don't know if you guys can. Whoa, that was a lot. Then I'm gonna put, this one is called Tranquil. Doesn't this seem like a color I'm gonna love? Oh my gosh. I can see it, it's kind of like dancing. It's kind of creepy, like Pop Rocks, maybe? Whoa, okay, I didn't expect this to be quite so neon. I probably would have gone with a little bit different. This is alcohol blending solution. You can use this, you can also use a spray bottle of alcohol to keep the things comparable. I'll probably need to use the same product on each, don't you think? So for this first one, we'll use the blending, alcohol blending, we have a cat hair in here. Hmm, shocking in this house. And then you can move them around. So far, as far as alcohol inks go, I'm a little underwhelmed by my project here. Having seen alcohol inks before and what people do with them, you guys might be loving it, but the other things that you can make great backgrounds with are those sprinkle paints. I mean, there's no shortage, right? You can just use acrylics. You can steal the watercolors from your grandkids if you want. Okay, see how when I put that stuff on there, it moves, it chases it away. The alcohol moves it around. I'm gonna blend mine really good. Most of the time on alcohol ink projects, you get a lot of um, circles. Okay, I don't like this at all, so I'm gonna spray it. There we go, there we go. Okay, now I'm a little happier with what I'm seeing. The other thing you can do is you can use a straw. 
and get some wavy marks. I don't just want circles. You'll see a lot of alcohol ink products or projects that have circles. The other thing I don't want is so much white. This is kind of boring. I mean, for an alcohol ink project, it is. Now, what I think I might do, because you know how I feel about blue, right? Imagine this is pink for you guys. Ooh, I don't like that they're all in a row. Is, I don't know that I'll see that, where the alcohol and all the stuff are meeting and spreading. I wish you guys could see. I don't think you can see how it's like iridescent, sparkly, amazing. I mean, I can see the movement in these pearls kind of like pop rocks that's all that's the only way I know how to explain it is that crazy I'm gonna move this over a little uh, one thing I saw is to put your alcohol ink projects on okay I'm gonna spray it one more time is to put them on press and seal because then you can lift them up and move them around I didn't do that I know you guys are shocked that I didn't take the time to do an extra step of something the point in my crafting is I have a lot of fun and if following all the rules and planning your projects super carefully is what makes you happy then you do that by all means but sometimes I just have to try it now what I will tell you is I was a little apprehensive to start this video today because I've never done this I've never done it sure as heck not by myself without even anyone here to supervise me and I know my friends are gonna watch this video and be like you should have put more ink I don't know. Okay, what I do know is I do not like this pink. So I would like to sub out the pink on the next project if you guys are okay with that because this, I thought it was gonna be like, it says enchanted. I was thinking like um, fairies and it would go with some of those cute new bow bunny papers that are Tuesday morning. It is more like 80s neon, which there's a time and a place for that, but it's not right now. Okay. The pearls are super exciting. I did not expect them to move like they're moving. And I'm curious to see how they move on the terrace slate. I'm not gonna do anything else to this. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, maybe I should move here, right here. My blue was a little too circly, right? I didn't like that. We can't, we can't have it like that, my friends would say. You gotta hit that with something. Okay, there. Okay, just an idea, right? Total beginner. I don't think you can make a bad alcohol ink project. I think one thing about these is I pr might be a little too cheap with the inks. I don't know. Now, shoot, I should have written down the sequence. I, I put the inks on first. So we'll do that on the next one. You probably would get a little better movement if you sprayed it with alcohol first or put the blending solution, but I think we need to follow. Now let me see if I can find a different pearl because that is wow. If you guys want somebody who does all their homework and preps for videos all the time, remember, that's not going to be me. Wild plum. Oh, I can hear Andrea yelling yes. I wonder... Yeah, this looks more purple. Okay, I was trying to keep the colors springy, but this went too far into summer. So we'll just go more purple. I know, Andrea. She's cheering. She wants us to use green too, but I'm just not going to do it. That's the Yupo. That's the Terra Slate. I don't know if my skill level is really going to show a difference in these papers. I mean, I think, you know, that's a factor too. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys can rewind the video and I will change it too, but do you see the difference? Um, that, the I don't know if she's ever used this one. Um, it just didn't move like that on the other one. And keep in mind, there's a, okay, this is pretty much the same exact color. There's another version of this paper that they say is for alcohol ink. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, about the circles. You see a lot of circles in alcohol ink projects. Okay, I feel like this stuff is moving so much better on this paper. Like, this makes alcohol ink more fun to me. Okay, and this time, well, I kind of have to do it the same, right? I was going to try and not put streaks of this stuff, 
put more circles of it, but I do want it to be the same. Okay, one thing I want to say that I didn't tell you guys and I probably should have looked up, I think I said it, but just to reemphasize, these papers are not cheap, right? And so there may be a pretty big difference between the Yupo and the Terra Slate, but my thought is the inks aren't cheap. So if you were going to make a bunch of projects and your ink moves that well, that's going to make your inks last a lot longer. Unless your friends are mooching your stuff. Still though, they'll use less. Okay, this is just amazing. Now, I want to try something a little crazy, you guys. I'm going to put some yellow in there. Oh, so that's one thing that's really fun about alcohol inks is it just doesn't get as muddy. Look at those colors. Okay, well, we're going to... We're going to take a break so Wilson can bark some more. Okay, I did make a streak. Did you see that? Because I didn't put it in a circle. And because I didn't put my paper on press and seal. So one thing is I should put it on the next ones. I'm going to put the paper on something. <coughs> Don't mind Wilson. Okay. Remember how I said the paper was super thin? Wilson, that's enough. Stop talking to the neighbors. So once I load it down with ink, it's really heavy and it's hard to move it. So that definitely is something to keep in mind. That time I'm going to put that right on that blue so we can get some amazing green there. And then I'm going to backfill a little, little bit here with some pearl. And this did, it got a little muddy, you know, compared to how it was. Uh, I wouldn't have put the fixative on it except that I was trying to make equal projects. Does that make sense? Because I loved how it looked, but that's one of the things that I don't like so much about when I'm trying to demo something to you guys is I feel like I have to keep it more um, even. So if I learned on that project something, then I don't really get to make that change over here, if that makes sense. Here, I'm just filling in a ton. This paper, it just moves amazingly well. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Um, what I can tell you is I love this one. I mean, I do. I think that's going to look... I might use that to die cut flowers because I'm totally hooked on die cutting flowers out of everything right now. I think you guys have seen that. Or butterflies. That would be really neat too if you did two pieces of paper the same and, or similar and you used one as your background and maybe even scraps of it for another one and then you had a die cut butterfly now this one I don't like the white showing but I think if oh you guys you know what else would be super cute take some dies like this hello and cut your cinnamon out in white and then use it with that so I am gonna leave the bits of white that I have there thank you or hello that would make beautiful cards and I think I'm going to do them different. On this next one, I'm not going to do it one at a time. I'm going to set them next to each other, and then I'm going to drop them at the same time, just so you can see consecutively how they move. Okay? I'm going to show these to you, and then we'll look at them when they're dry, too. But I think the thing is, how much do you, how much do you want your projects to move? Okay, so you know, Yupo's on the right. We're sticking with the same thing. Now, I don't think you necessarily want to put them on top of a paper thing. Don't do that. That's really dumb. But I don't know what else to put them on, and I want to be sure that I can move them. So, we'll just try it. The other thing is doing multiple projects at once. I might not want to tip one, and I'll be forced to. 
That's okay. We'll just wing it. Here is pistachio. And usually what Tim Holtz does is when he releases colors, they might not have come out with pearl and everything yet. But I like pistachio, so we had to use it. Okay, I'm doing two drops. Here I'm going to do two just to see. It starts to move. One, two. Yeah, the Terra Slate is amazing, you guys. If she gets me hooked on alcohol inks. Okay, then some coral. The pistachio, if you're familiar with his colors, these are, did I not mix these? Okay, this doesn't seem corally, and this doesn't seem very pistachio-y, because do you guys know the pistachio color? I mean, it doesn't look like that. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the same colors, because I told you I would. It seems really orange, but I like it. I think it's interesting too. I feel like the colors, because they stay so thick over here, they just don't, I don't know. I don't like them as much. Okay, here I'm using a lot because I wanna lighten that project. Oops, lighten that project up. Keep your bottles vertical, otherwise you'll shoot the project. Look at how that yellow pearl is going right over the top of that one. Just look at the difference in those two projects, you guys. I did not expect this to be such a uh, different comparison. I didn't expect it at all. Okay, now this time, let's use the alcohol spray. So what this will do is it'll hit light over the top. Ooh, maybe it has different settings. Well, apples to apples, right? Okay, oh, look. Can you see that? Yeah, look at that. That is amazing. That I love. I would love that with summer papers. And I kind of like the amount of um, white that's showing on it. It doesn't even bother me. This one, we got to do something about this or we're just wasting ink. So let's move this around, see if we can turn this into something that doesn't look like that. Okay, maybe when I said everything with alcohol inks turns out good, I just wanted to prove to you that that's not always the case. I don't know. But this one is not good. I'm not going to put any more pistachio in it because I think that's way too green. And, and I'm going to see if we can save this project with some dandelion. Because there's so much of that yellow pearl in there already. No, it's just ugly. I don't care how you look at it. It's just ugly. Okay. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to let you see it in all its beautiful glory. Now, what it might do, see, and then I got that on my hand. I'm gonna put that on my black pants. What it might do is it might make amazing summer die cuts, right? You can cut things up and then they're beautiful. So, how could we save that? You guys? Let's, put this, let's put a splash of blue in that one because the yellow just can't fight the dark colors in it and maybe the blue will Make nice greens and turn it around a little. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave this one. I love it. I love the circles. I love kind of everything about it. And I already know which papers I have to go with it. This one is really not the ugliest thing I've ever made. Does that make you feel better? Okay. The blue. I, did, I do like the blue in it. That helped. Let's try putting um, this stuff on this one and see if that helps it in any way it it should give it if I just drop some nice circles if nothing else it'll give it some nice texture questions I'll take questions down at the bottom and I'm not sure when I'll post this and if I'll still have the inks but the inks won't be far away and my friends are awesome so if there's something you want to see down the road most alcohol ink projects that you'll see online, they cover the whole paper. They don't leave any white showing. They definitely, I don't know that I've seen a lot where they do just circles and then leave it. That's kind of what I love about that one is it looks more like an abstract circle stamp that I used, less like alcohol inks. Okay, can you see the shimmer? It's probably blinding the camera so then it's too dark. Let me bring this up really close and see what we can do for lighting. Well, 
it reflects enough that you can see that ot light in it, huh? I think those pearls, I think if you're going to buy them, definitely get some pearls. Pay the extra couple dollars. But the colors are really dark. So one thing that I would like to figure out for spring is how to lighten them. And maybe you cover the sheet first with the alcohol and then it thins them out more. Hope you're having a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.